Tonight, a Larry Barker investigation of a mysterious government complex designed, built, and equipped at taxpayer expense years ago. But even before the ribbon cutting grand opening, the expensive project was scrapped. Today, it lies neglected and abandoned. Come along as Larry follows the money trail and uncovers clues to a monumental bureaucratic blunder that wasted hundreds of thousands of dollars. If you build it, they will come. Perhaps this iconic line from the 1989 movie Field of Dreams was the inspiration behind an obscure government project built in southwest Albuquerque. And even though the facility is sitting in plain sight, don't bother looking for it. You won't find it. It cost taxpayers hundreds of thousands to construct and equip the facility. However, even before the paint was dry, state bureaucrats simply changed their mind and abandoned the project. Today, a suite of empty rooms stand as a long-forgotten testament to squander tax dollars and reckless governmental extravagance. Senator Pete Campo serves on the Senate Finance Committee. It was a waste of resource and it was poorly planned and I don't believe that there was enough research done in order to warrant the project. It was an ambitious enterprise born 16 years ago at the National Hispanic Cultural Center. Someone, no one seems to know who, decided the museum needed a television studio. Now not just any production house, a state-of-the-art television production complex. So in 2004, the state constructed a first-class facility, complete with a soundproof studio, control room, edit suites, and even a green room. Once the building was complete, the state went on a shopping spree. They bought a remote-controlled studio lighting system, cameras, lenses, video switchers, batteries, computerized editing systems, monitors, microphones, amplifiers, reels of cables, and boxes of electronic doodads. However, shortly after the studio project was completed, state officials shut it down. In fact, it never opened its doors. You see, they spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on equipment, but didn't hire the people to run it. So the project was scrapped before it even began. That was 15 years ago. Today, ask someone at the National Hispanic Cultural Center about the TV studio, and you'll get blank stares. In a pre-pandemic interview, Alberto Cuesi was the museum's interim director. Any idea what the original purpose was for constructing a television studio here at the National Hispanic Cultural Center? I don't know. No, I don't know what the original intent was. The abandoned project is hidden away in a wing of the Performing Arts Building. At the end of a back hallway is a locked door. Inside, you will find the remains of a TV complex that could have been, but never was. Today, this space is used mostly for storage. The expensive lights have been dark for years, and no one is sure how to turn them on. Stashed inside a closet are tens of thousands of dollars worth of outdated electronic equipment, some of it brand new and never used. What do you do with all this stuff? There's cameras in there and there's tripods and some items are still brand new in the box. Any idea what you can do with it today? I don't know what we can do with it today. That's a good question. Some of the electronic gear sits gathering dust in storage. Most of the studio equipment, however, was discarded in 2015. And it's not just the TV studio. The Hispanic Cultural Center also has a radio station, or at least taxpayers paid for one. We do have a room in this building, in the Visual Arts Building, that was, I believe, intended for a radio station. So what is that space used for today? That space right now is currently vacant and has been vacant for, for the, well, as long as I've been here. Now you'll have to use your imagination, but this room was supposed to be a soundproof radio studio. And this space, the control room. In 2005, 
state legislators appropriated $65,000 to purchase and install radio station equipment, including a $3,000 transformer. It was purchased for the radio station. Do you know where that is today? I do not. I have, uh, I don't know who that is. I've asked my staff more recently, and no, we don't, we can't find a transformer or anything that looks like a transformer. Well, how about the radio station's $300 antenna tower? Do you know where that is today? Um, I do not know where that is today. No. Somebody has looked for it, right? Yes, yeah. And nobody can find it? Uh, most recently, no, we can't find it. Some audio gear bought for the non-existent radio station is today occasionally used for theater productions. So why spend all that money on a television studio and radio station? Well, today, nobody remembers. The empty rooms and this closet full of obsolete electronic gear are all that's left of a quarter of a million dollar government project gone bust. Senator Campos calls it a history lesson. First of all, the money's gone. Secondly, most of the equipment is gone. Thirdly, the idea and the project was never developed. So the way I characterize it today, it was a waste of money. How do you react to that? With shock. Shock over and over because we continue to do this not only with one project, but it happens over and over. Larry Barker, KRQE News 13.